whether you are a local or a tourist, one cannot deny the beauty and allure of this vibrant city. The people are warm, the food is flavorful, and with a rich history, it's no wonder San Antonio is considered as culturally significant as it is today. Since you clicked on this video, it's fair to assume we're in agreement. Naturally, you may want to photograph the river rock and surrounding areas. Well, rest assured, you're in the right place. Here's five tips and tricks for better pictures of downtown San Antonio. One, composition as everything. Before proceeding further, I should first establish some basic vocabulary. Don't worry, this isn't intended to be a comprehensive overview, but I promise, by the end, you'll be that much more knowledgeable and well-equipped for a quick photo op. Let's start, shall we? In photography, a subject refers to the primary object in view. This could be a birch tree, a blue jay perched on a bough, or a person bird watching. The point is, in this scenario, the possibilities are endless. Now, once you establish your subject, you need to think about composition. Composition refers to the arrangement of visual elements and frame. One useful technique is the rule of thirds. Imagine two vertical lines and two horizontal lines intersecting along the image. This may be a little difficult to visualize. I'm going to go ahead and return to the blue jay bird watching example. Put simply, if you place a subject center frame without directing attention toward the focal point, it could be potentially boring and flat. Whereas if you place your subject in the right third of the photo, for instance, it creates an interesting image, as seen in an example. Thankfully, the iPhone has the grid lines feature. To turn it on, you have to go to your settings, scroll down, click on camera, and unlock grid. It's as easy as that. 2. Add depth and dimension. Adding depth is another useful way to capturing compelling photographs. There are plenty of techniques you could employ to create a sense of depth and dimension, however. If I provide an explanation for each individual technique, I fear it might turn into an exhaustive list. So instead, I'll spare you and just go over a few examples. Leading lines are an excellent compositional technique. It is especially useful for architectural and street photography. As the name suggests, it leads the eyes, guides the viewer's attention, center frame. Though leading lines are best understood in practice. On the bridge above the riverboat, I quickly snapped this photo. It's not perfect. But notice the parallel lines tapering off into the distance, ultimately converging at the horizon, also known as the vanishing point. Play with perspective. There's no right or wrong when it comes to perspective. It's often a matter of intuition, but I recommend you be a little daring. Try going for a less obvious shot, angle yourself, and once more, shift position, all of which effectively creates an illusion of depth. Finally, there's selective focus. You can achieve this effect with portrait mode, available on all iPhones. Yes, I know, it's as easy as that. Three, repetition, pattern, and symmetry. Most are familiar with terms like pattern, repetition, and symmetry. Each one has its respective purpose, of course. It's not uncommon for people to get these three confused, however, as they're practically synonymous with one another. So allow me to briefly explain. Repetition refers to the reoccurrence of a visual element. Visual elements usually include lines and shapes. Repetition has the potential to create patterns. A pattern is a repetition of two or more visual elements working in concert. Symmetry, however, is achieved when both halves of the image mirror each other or are well balanced. Here is another example. Notice the sense of symmetry. See how simple but captivating these images are? 4. Lighting is essential. Since you're outside, you have to rely on natural light, which, if you're asking me, is not necessarily a bad thing, though it does come with its challenges. That said, you have tons of options. You can use artificial light, whether that be from your flash. In the event that your photo is underexposed, you can adjust the exposure by tapping a finger a sun icon should pop up. 
slide up and down on the scale until you achieve the desired effect. You can adjust the f-stop, which all helps control exposure. 5. Have fun and experiment. We all heard the saying, rules are meant to be broken. While this phrase is without a doubt a cliche, it stands true. I should emphasize, in order to break a rule in a thoughtful way, you need to first have a firm grasp of it and understand what you're doing. That aside, I strongly encourage everyone to have fun, experiment a little. Sure, there are proven techniques to create interesting photos, but photography as a whole is less of a science and more of an art. If you found this video helpful and took some photos of the San Antonio River Rock yourself, please share it on social media and tag us. Consider liking this video and subscribing to Nowcast SA. Thank you.